mighty over Pat Freeman once again with our sports update for the week for 1080 AM WFO and CLB TV. Well, we're getting closer to the draft. My top pick right now, and we're going to do a little mock draft on some of my top picks this week and maybe next week go into some others. But my top pick right now, I think St. Louis has to go with Sam Bradford. Sam Bradford is apparently the number one rated quarterback in this draft. He is an NFL standard quarterback. I think St. Louis will have to take Sam Bradford at the number one pick. Reason being, not because it's a guarantee he's going to be successful, but do you give close to guaranteed money of close to $50 million to a defensive tackle that's unproven? I don't think he can. I think the only position... Because of the way the NFL is still structured for rookies, you have to give this to a quarterback. And the only one that fits that bill right now is Sam Bradford and possibly Jimmy Clausen. These are the only quarterbacks in this draft that I think are worth that type of money uh, in the top five, possibly top ten picks. Other than that, mostly big men. This is a big men dominated draft. And I think it's a draft that the Buffalo Bills really need to concentrate on big men. Though, the rumor is coming out that the Buffalo Bills might take C.J. Spiller. That means that the Buffalo Bills are going to get rid of Marshawn Lynch somewhere before the draft and try to pick up extra picks. The only thing with Marshawn Lynch, I don't think you can get good draft picks for Marshawn Lynch. Marshawn Lynch is a starting running back in this league. But he had a very mediocre year last year, and you can find running backs usually anywhere in the draft or around the league. You can always find successful running backs. It is not the marquee position that it once used to be. Now the marquee positions are these big guys. And I think if the Bills take a C.J. Spiller, that means that Buddy Nix obviously knows he's got to fill a void on his offensive tackle position, meaning the left tackle, and also, I believe, right tackle, because I don't think it's a very secure thing going into a season with a 33-year-old man, Cornell Green, as your starting right tackle. He might be a person that can give you good, uh, a good one or two years, maybe, but he only played 12 games last year, so we don't know how long he can hold up. My thing is, you got to get solid tackles, solid bookends, beginning with the left tackle, then the right tackle. But if you're going to take a C.J. Spiller, who probably is the best athlete in this draft, that tells me that Buddy Nick somewhere has targeted an uh, offensive tackle that they have scouted, that they believe they can get somewhere later on or possibly move up in the first round uh, to get another uh, quality offensive tackle. We're going to talk more about this in the next coming weeks. We're going to take it one, two steps at a time. Right now... I believe your first two picks are Sam Bradford going to the St. Louis Rams, and I think the Detroit Lions come back uh, with either Russell Onkong or Ndamukong Sue at number two. I don't. It's going to be very interesting, but possibly the Detroit Lions because they have committed uh, their stake to a number one quarterback already uh, in uh, their quarterback from last year. I think you're going to see them. Uh, take Russell Ocon from the Oklahoma State uh, College program, and this could be their number one pick. We'll talk more about this on next week. I am the Mighty Oba right here from CLB TV and 1080 AM WFO Radio. I think our first two picks of the draft, once again, Sam Bradford will go to the St. Louis Rams, and Russell Ocon from Oklahoma State will go to the Detroit Lions. We'll see you next week. We talk more as we count down to the NFL draft. Thank you.